Where's Matthew at? I think he's stuck in AP Purgatory, according to his own words. We need him back. We do. We kind of missed the long rants, even if they made no sense at all. Yeah. Welcome to the Red and Gold Show, I'm Brendan Keen. And I'm Leslie Puentes, and we're reading the news from the 007 studio. Seniors, please go to the President's office to pick up your family's commencement tickets. Cecina will distribute seating tickets as well as one parking pass for on-campus parking to each senior for his or her family. Each senior will receive eight commencement seating tickets. These will include two floor seats and six bleacher seats. The floor seat tickets will be different color from the bleacher seat tickets. Guests will be asked to present their tickets upon entering the gym at the North Gym Lobby. Campus Crusade Collections continue, Crusaders. A collections table will be in the rotunda from 7.30 to 8.30 each morning through May 17th. Matthew Hens has more. That's right, Crusaders. It's Campus Crusade season. This year, the student goal is $50 and staff goal $30. If you meet your individual goal, you will receive an out-of-uniform pass for the rest of the school year. But not only that, a total of $250, that's right, $250 in cash prizes will be given to you, the students. A $50 early bird drawing will be, made May, will be held May 12th. A second $50 drawing will be held May 18th. A grand prize of $150 will be held May 19th. But that's not all. If you bring in $100 or more, you will receive three entries into that grand prize drawing of $150. But wait, there's still more. You also get an extra drawing to win a Cecina parking spot for the next school year if you do drive. But that's still not all. The class with the highest participation gets to lead the campus crusade. That's right, they get to lead it. So turn in your money, make that fun, make this campus crusade the best it's ever gonna be. Back to you. Thanks, Matthew. The first day to dress out of uniform for both students and staff is May 15th. Please contact Mr. Lemming at mlemming at sassina.org with any questions. May is Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. According to the US Census Bureau, there were an estimated 1.7 million Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander residents of the U.S. in 2021. 89.9% of them aged 25 or older earned at least a high school diploma. 25% had a bachelor's degree or higher. There were an estimated 8,822 employer firms in the U.S. owned by Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islanders. Let's appreciate what they have done and what they have added to our nation and culture. Now to Leslie for today's clubs. The Red and Gold Going Green Club is continuing its paper airplane throwing competition in order to promote recycling. Oh my gosh! One student from each one has participated. They held the semifinal round yesterday and six Crusaders advanced to the championship round. Let's see who advanced and how far they flew their plane. The championship will take place Thursday during when? May the best crusader win. Uh, four. One, three, four, three. The archery club will meet today after school in the cafeteria. The rock band will also meet today after school in the music room. The chess club will meet tomorrow after school in room 222. Prom will be held Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Indianapolis Zoo Dolphin Pavilion. Seniors, please cast your votes for prom court today. You'll find a link in the canvas announcement. Tickets cost $60. Those wishing to pay cash need to see Miss Quigley with the exact amount. You may also purchase tickets online on the Spirit Shop's website. Please note that the dress code policy will be strictly enforced. You must be in dress code to enter prom. If any girls have questions about their outfit and want to get it approved, they can see Miss Quigley. Guys can see Mr. Schroeder with any questions. Please note that the same dress code guidelines will be strictly enforced for guests. Now to Brennan for today's sports. Last night, the baseball team lost to Orange Central. Tonight, the girls' tennis team will host Triton Central at 4 p.m. The boys' golf team will host Roncalli at 5. The varsity baseball team will, can, will play Cardinal Ritter at 5.30. The softball team will host Speedway also 5.30. Good luck, Crusaders. 
That's it for today's sports. Deering Cleaners is looking for after school help. The hours are 3.30 to 5.30, Monday through Friday, and 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. If you're looking for a part-time job, this could be for you. Apply in person at Deering Cleaners at 1160 North Arlington. Now let's check out our quote of the day. Now let's check out today's weather forecast. Thanks, Leslie. It's hard to imagine a nicer day than what we'll see this afternoon. We're looking at a high of 76 and a low of 49 in total sunshine. It'll be a perfect day for those sport events. We'll see more summer-like weather and sunshine the next couple of days. Tomorrow's high is 79 and Thursday will be even warmer with a high of 84. We can expect a mix of sun and clouds both days. Enjoy the warm weather crusaders. Now back to Leslie for more news. Thanks guys. Well, I'm glad it's starting to continue being warm and sunny. Yesterday was a little too humid for me, but at least the sun was out. The sun was really, really, really hot on us yesterday at tennis practice. But overall, I do like the warm weather. I just don't like the humidity. We're about a week away from senior final exams. With that in mind, here's a look at our final exam schedule for seniors and underclassmen. There you have it, Crusaders. Also remember to check out the final exam exemption policy. Please note that even if you are exempt from a final, you still must be present during that final exam period. More info is included in that Canvas announcement. Now let's see what we're having for lunch. Today we're having cheeseburger mac with corn. Tomorrow it'll be a barbecue rib sandwich with green beans. Please remember that all menu items are subject to change. Let's see who's celebrating a birthday. Bruh. Happy birthday, 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 yoo-hoo, oh yeah. Happy birthday. Now it's time for our Tuesday Top 5. Today we bring you the top 5 ice cream flavors of all time, according to our expert Red and Gold show staff. What do you think about that list? Oh, well, I like vanilla. That's my favorite. So I'm glad it's on there. I wish it was higher, but uh, I think they're all good flavors. I don't think I've really had strawberry ice cream all too much, but the cookie dough blizzard, if that counts as ice cream, is, is pretty good. I honestly think strawberry is better than chocolate and cookies and cream is really good. Yeah. In all, I think it's a great list though. It's got all the the key flavors and the important ones. That's it for today's show. Stay classy. And give that little extra. <laughs>